is up everyone welcome back to the crypto blitz your home for your crypto fix i'm your host triple van winkle hopefully everyone is having an amazing day it's friday november 10th i'm off today and i'm gonna be off a lot of next week as well a little 11 day vacation coming my way well needed probably a short month in december gotta use some time up folks listen in this video we got a lot to go over i'm gonna showcase for you a brand new platform called crypto fight you're going to love it we're gonna talk about xrp and the four dollar mark because history is about to be made xrp we're gonna look at it compared to amazon google the early days and where we currently are and where we're going we're going to talk about those institutional sales over here in the u.s and what the sec is trying to do ethgate Stephen Neroff has spoken. It's coming, folks. ETHgate is coming. He said by the next couple of weeks, I believe his target date was like December 3rd. The lawsuit is going to be dropped. We're going to talk about the United States and crypto, its current state, and then we're going to finish this off with the XRP price. So without further ado, let's jump into this thing. Bitcoin, $37,162. It's currently up 0.77% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum, Coming in at 2100. It's almost over 10%, folks. USDT and USDC both coming in at their dollar pegs as XRP is back at 66 cents. That's where we want to see it. We need to hold 66 cents. It's down 4.69%, but in the past hour, it's showing some signs of life. Now, we had that massive dip yesterday. What do I think caused the dip? I'll tell you what I think caused the dip. A lot of people were long on crypto. I think the exchanges did a scam wick, cleared out all those longs, and what happened? Back up exactly to where we were before. Interesting thought, right? Obviously, it's just, it's just Rip speaking out on what he saw out there and what he's been seeing since 2017. If it's true, I don't know. Time will never really tell. But from what I've seen out there, it looks like it's true. Total cryptocurrency market cap coming in at one trillion four hundred and fifteen billion. We are about one point three trillion away from the all-time high. Remember, crypto all-time high. Where it's going this time around, four to seven trillion dollars. It's that simple. Now check out this platform. I ran across it. CryptoFights.pro. This is absolutely amazing. So what this is is you bet on where the price of Bitcoin's going to go. You pay in Matic, super simple. I believe the minimum bet is 10 Matic, which is about $4.20, give or take. And what happens is it's 45 seconds. 30 seconds, you have to pick the direction of the movement. So within the next 30 seconds, is Bitcoin's price gonna go up or down? The pricing feed is taken directly from DX feed. You can see right here. What happens, you place your bet. 15 seconds, that's it. Winners and losers get picked. Look, I'm gonna do this live on the screen. I've been playing around with it. I'm gonna connect up my MetaMask wallet. Super simple, everyone has a MetaMask wallet. I got Matic thrown in there. Wallet is connected, it's funded. I'm gonna pick a bet over here in the left if I think the Bitcoin price is gonna go up or on the right. That's it, that's how simple it is. So 10 Matic is my bet. We're gonna throw it on and we gotta wait eight seconds. We're gonna throw it over here in the up territory because I think Bitcoin's price is gonna go up for me in the next bids. So what we're looking at, that just three payouts, put in my bets, processing my order, my MetaMask wallet is opening right now. Bada beam, bada boom, I just signed it. There we go. I'm gonna be in on the upside. 10 Matic, Bitcoin's price is going to go up. 10 seconds, this thing is going to lock in. Let's hope we get a winner. Let's get a nice little payout to start out this beautiful Friday morning. What do you think about that? We got one second. Here we go. It's waiting. Bitcoin price. Come on, baby. Turn around. Turn around. 10 seconds. Flip, flip, flip. No, go up. Up. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up. 37.24. We got to close above. Oh, 18, 19, 19. Mm, missed it. That's all all's good there. Whatever. It is what it is. We're gonna go down this time. We're gonna sign again. Listen, we gotta get one of these. We gotta become a winner. We're gonna throw 10 Matic, which is about four US dollars into the downside. Here we go. Our bet is in. You can see my guy right here. Number one, we got eight seconds, and this thing's gonna kick back off. This is pretty cool. Something to play around with. It's cheap. I said it's four bucks. Why not? 
Here we go. 3724 is the start rate. Come on down. Oh yeah, go down, baby. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You're going the wrong way, Bitcoin. Down, 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 down. There we go. Go down again. Oh, it closed on us the last second. We just took another L in. Gosh. What do we think? What do we think now? We're gonna ride it. Oh, I think I'm gonna ride it up here. We're gonna ride up. Let's do it one more time. One more time. We gotta get a winner live on the show. I think we can pull it off. Oh, I don't have my Matic. I gotta re-up Matic. There you go. Pretty freaking cool, right? I think it's cool. Listen, it's a Web3 platform. This is built on Polygon. It's audited by Surtech. It's one of the top 10 safest platforms out there. Amazing. They also have a daily jackpot. So if you do over 100 trades, you get entered into the jackpot, which is for the week, and you can win up to 842 Matic. I'm going to link this bad boy below. I have fun with it. I think it's absolutely awesome. They have weekly. If you're over 250, the price pool just goes up. I mean, 7,500 Matic if you do over 1,500 trades. It's fun. It's addicting. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't believe I lost both rounds, but what are you going to do? Shower worms, put this on out there. Someone told him, be ready for a $4.40 XRP. He's right. You need to be ready. That's coming. A $4.40 XRP is in the works. I am telling you right now. We are going to see an explosion early next year in the price of XRP. I would love for XRP to get back to that 70, 72 cent range so we can talk about 80 cents. I would love to see XRP close the year close to a dollar. That would be absolutely phenomenal because that's going to push us up into that $6 mark come next year. Egrad Crypto put this out and I think this is a thing of beauty right here. He goes, XRP is water. Water is essentially for all forms of life on earth. If you miss Google, here was Google early days. What happened after that? An explosion. If you missed Apple, you can see the base expanded to the top. If you look, missed Amazon, folks. You can, do you see the pattern that's playing out here, everyone? Everything starts low. It builds a base. Do not miss out on XRP because XRP is water. Joel Katz even stated that in one of his previous posts talking about how all the elements are taken in. Google has earth. Apple has air. Amazon has fire. Well, guess what? Ripple has water. And what Ripple is doing and what they are building out is going to change the financial landscape forever. Nostra Vostra accounts going the way. Swift is even changing how they're starting to do things and moving towards the digital approach. Ripple has been at this for over a decade now. Listen, I get it. Governments, banks, remitters, anything to do with money moves slow. They can't mess up. They need to make sure everything is done correct and that it's working flawlessly, especially when we're talking about all the money in the world. We are on the, the edge of our seat because this thing is about to erupt. The use case from XRP, we got nothing but amazing news coming out of Swell. Nothing but amazing news. New partners, new use cases. Ripple's doubling down on institutional demand and the institutional use case for XRP. You'll see a lot of fun out there. Ripple's not going to use XRP. Of course they are. They have a war chest of it. You think they're going to let that war chest get burnt up and go to nothing? No. They benefit the most from that XRP going up. ETHgate. I got it right here. If you don't listen to this, I'm going to retweet it. Go to my thread. Listen to this. Steven Aroff was on a big stage at Crypto Town Hall. He dropped it all. He told you when the lawsuit's coming. He told you about all the dirty hands that were going on behind the scene. He told you about every single little bit of it. And when that lawsuit gets dropped, I can't wait. And I've been saying for quite some time, Ethereum, it's going to implode. Money from Ethereum is going to rush out and it's going to flow into Bitcoin and to XRP because those are the only two currencies that have clarity within the US. Remember the Bitcoin halving, it's still not priced in. Institutional money from the ETF, still not priced into this market. And we are sitting at a 66 cent XRP. What do you think is going to happen once that big money enters the space? And we get this, Brad Gallinghouse from DC Fintech Week. He stated, 
Though you won the case, the U.S. government is still hostile towards crypto. The OCC is a hostile towards crypto. And until that changes, the banks in the U.S. are not going to engage meaningfully. So what is Ripple doing? Well, they're not sitting back and waiting for the U.S. to get on board. They've taken their business and they have expanded Ripple and on-demand liquidity overseas. You've seen the partnerships in Dubai. You've seen the central banks from around the world. You've seen what they did in Mexico, the Philippines, Vietnam, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Japan, Australia, Switzerland, UK. You see what they're doing. They are pushing forward. And when the U.S. is ready, you know what? All the liquidity is going to be ready from around the world that these U.S. banks are just going to be able to tap on in. Bank of America, PNC Bank. They are all just waiting for this thing to get clarity and to be pushed through. But the fact that XRP has clarity already, these institutions can tap into XRP usage. Maybe Liquidity Hub doesn't get used in the US because it sources multiple different cryptocurrencies to find the best path. But if they wanted to use XRP, they can 100% tap into on-demand liquidity. Yasin explains why the U.S. financial institutions have not rushed into using, X using XRP after victory. Because it may require a different administration in the White House, which is coming next year, and real adoption of XRP and crypto in general in the U.S. Folks, buckle up. We are in for an exciting 2024 and possibly <coughs> Even 2025. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.